I recently picked up this little retro boom box for 29 bucks at a garage sale. It actually worked except for one problem. I put a tape in it and it would play, but the button would not stay down. And it wouldn't eject either. But I needed a recording that would be just as good as a factory original. The problem is I didn't really have any equipment that could produce that. I needed to ask a favor of somebody, so I decided to ask uh, one of my favorite YouTube creators, Techmoan. So I've been asked to help out the 8-bit guy. This can get quite expensive. For example, if he was to buy the same cassette deck that I'm going to record his tape on, it would cost him somewhere around about nine US dollars, which is a lot of money. And I'll just send him the tape in the post. I'm going to record it on my hi-fi setup here. I'm not going to do any equalization or any of that business. We're going straight from the file onto this cassette recorder. I'm just listening through the first time to check that the loudest points of the track are too loud. Put it in a nice little cassette mailer and then pop down the post office and send it back to the 8-bit guy. Today, I'm unboxing a donation from Techmoan. A pink Barbie video cassette. Okay, so I really want to know what is on this tape. I think something has been recorded on here, so uh, I'm dying to know what it is. Um, obviously, this probably belonged to a child, so if there's anything inappropriate, uh, I, I won't be showing it here, but but who knows? Let's, let's, you know, let's know. stick me in, find out. Hi, I'm Linus Sebastian, and also 8-bit guy, cheap and horrible. I'm very offended that this is here, by the way, instead of an LTTstore.com water bottle. Great water bottles, keep your drinks cool, and you even cooler. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm just looking right now. I wish I could show you my inbox. I'm just going to tell you, and this is an issue I didn't even want to have to talk about, but I, I've kind of reached a point where I feel I have to. Uh, just to give you some examples, uh, one person sent me a pink Barbie video cassette with a handwritten label on it, and it wasn't any, anything even like interesting or important or in any way. You know, I'm like, what am I going to do with this? And again, even if I wanted to use it, which I didn't, it was ruined, so I tossed it in the trash. Oh man, I got the RPG now. You're going down. Yeah, another dead one. So uh, I think the whole company's gone. During this time, I'm often thinking about what I'm going to be doing in my next video, or if I have a convention coming up, I'll be rehearsing my speech to myself. Or lately, I find myself thinking about my game and how I'm going to solve certain problems. <laughs> So I'll turn the volume up for the mic. Unfortunately, it's pointing at the wall at the moment, but you should be able to make out that I'm coming through on the speaker. I know there's going to be some jerkwads out there trying to tell me I'm being cruel to the poor innocent little tech moan. I like being a jerk to tech moan. So you need to think about that. <laughs> 